kicks off of the Connect Guys event. Uh, I'm Michael Newman, one of the co-chairs of Connect Guys, along with Jason Langer. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us this evening. Uh, we are thrilled to welcome so many of uh, you here tonight for the Connect Gen's launch. It's great to see so many young leaders in the room with us tonight. And we're also pleased that a lot of different uh, federation leaders in the community were able to join us tonight. So a little history about Connect Gen's. Uh, about six months ago, uh, Kenny Ames, who was one of the event chairs tonight, Jason and I, and Danny Minster, uh, traveled to Israel with about 25 other people in the room. And we went with a Federation Birthright Alumni Leadership Mission. Uh, it was sponsored by the Jewish Federation of <coughs> Washington and the United Jewish Endowment Fund. And uh, during this trip, uh, we got to experience Israel through a leadership lens, experience of people, and also learn a lot about what the Federation does here and abroad. With the help of the Jewish Federation and the network, our project has become a reality. We hope tonight will be the first of many times you join us for Connect Gens, the network, and our incredible Jewish community. Tonight, we couldn't think of a better time to launch this initiative with tonight being Arab to Bishvat. I don't know if all of you knew it was tonight. It's Jewish Arbor Day. I have the distinct honor of uh, introducing our MC for the night, Danny Krischer. I'm glad to be here. I want to introduce our, our panelists and then we'll go into the discussion. So our first panelist is Eric Kimmel, Jonathan Neiman, Micha Weinblatt. What these guys have done is exceedingly rare. Um, and the businesses they've chosen are exceedingly competitive and challenging. All of you guys are, are clearly very personally involved in your business. You didn't start something hoping that you could sell it off and make a quick buck. You wanted to see it through. I think it's all about um, execution and, and vision. Um, hiring uh, the best people that you can hire uh, to carry it out. Remind people of the vision. You gotta tell people who are working for you the vision early and often and keep retelling it. Um, saying thank you. Is, is so simple and so un underutilized. There's no successful company in, unsuccessful, in an unsuccessful community. And uh, it's, it's really absolutely true. So, uh, you know, for us, it's, it, before, even before successful, I think everyone needs to understand that taking part in the community is really important. And giving back, you know, as much as you can, whatever that is. Um, it, it's, it's not only good for you, it's good for business. Honestly, I couldn't think of three better young professionals than these three gentlemen here that were able to share their wonderful story and inspire us all. And just looking at the eyes and the questions that have come out, I can see that you've inspired everybody else as well. So again, thank you so much for what you've said and what you've done for our community and for your own business. Thank you all for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the